Welcome back to another video, and today we're doing something a little different. So this here is my new hard drive. And it is eight glorious terabytes. And I'm gonna show you guys how to install something like this. You need a couple things when you are going to install a hard drive. First thing is the hard drive. The second thing is, is a power cable to go from your power supply in your computer to your hard drive. The final thing is the data cables, or a data cable. There's two different kinds here. There we go. Data cable, this goes from the hard drive to the motherboard. All right, this is my computer desk here. I built the whole thing and I'm quite proud of it too. Don't look at the other side of the room though because that's where I threw all the stuff to make it look like I'm a clean and respectable human being. But so here is the beast. I already took the screws out of this just to save some time. So I've got an existing storage hard drive down there, but I need more. So let's see if we can't get a light in here to shed some light on the situation. I literally just took the closest lamp I could find and plugged it in in here. But first things first, we're going to want to shut it down. After I shut it down, I like to flip the switch back here by the power and unplug it entirely. So now there is zero power to the machine. All right, so this is what we need to do. You see these, those little white connectors? Our little white connector needs to go right next to it. And our hard drive will go right next to this hard drive. Please excuse the dust. It's just the nature of the beast. So this here is a plug that was plugged into the back of my current hard drive. And there is the data connector that was coming out the back of my current hard drive. What we're gonna do is these are the power cords are daisy chain so you've got several plugs on a single cord so I'm going to just switch some things around so where we can use the same power cord for both hard drives so the way these hard drives work is pretty basic you've got two plugs on the back the biggest one is for the power the little one is for the data this data cord you can plug either side of it either end of it into the data side and there you go and then for the power you take your power connector and you just plug it right in to the power side and once you get this side plugged into the motherboard you're good to go but first, I need to hook up my old hard drive again because I pulled that one out. This one has got a fancy little slide-in tray here, which this actually has got another one over here that I'll put the new hard drive in. So let's see. Yeah, here we go. So I got this little, this fancy little tray, and I'm going to take the pins on it, which there are these little pins, and on the hard drive there are these little holes and it just clips right into the holes. Then it will slide right back into the case and clip in. I'm gonna move these cables around just a little bit so they fit. <clears throat> I actually ended up routing the cables around through the back so they came through this little channel back here on both hard drives. So now when I plug them in and slide them to the back, it'll be nice and clean. All right, the old hard drive's in there. Now I gotta plug this one back in. And the data. Now we'll feed it back through the hole as we slide it in.
And there it goes. I'm not going to go ahead and clip it in because there is this power cable here. So I'm just going to leave it sitting right there. And it should be installed. Let's power it up and see if it works. Let's turn the lights off for this part. And it's alive. So I didn't break it. When you first install a new hard drive, it won't show up in my computer. So I'm going to go to the start menu, start typing in disk management, and this create and format hard disk partitions will pop up. That's what you want to click on. This pops up and says I must initialize disk before the disk manager can access it. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And you can see we have got 7,400 gigs unallocated. So right click, new simple volume, next, 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 storage. And we'll hit next, finish. and so now it'll show up here as video storage and I will be good for at least the next year I sure hope it's more than that and of course you gotta run a speed test so we'll pick J which is the only one with over 7,000 gigs and we will go ahead and hit all and we wait not too shabby Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Join me in the next one.